Hey guys, how's it going? What I'm trying to do today is I'm going to introduce you guys to Windows Media Maker as a reminder video. You know, a lot of us slip up, a lot of us forget after a while. So what I first want everybody to do, I want you to go to View. I want you to click on the toolbar. So we have the toolbar in the bottom. And also click on the status bar and the task pane. And here we are. Now if you want to capture a video from a camera or another device, what you're going to do here is you're going to select Capture from Video Device, which I am already have to do. It's my camera here in the corner, but I'm not going to do that. But this is where you need to go. On the left, Movie Task, Paint on the left-hand side. And this is where you select your device. Or Program, too. The programs work through this area. So let's say you have another program, uh, my instance is Camtasia, that does other effects. You're going to be selecting it here as well, okay? Next, oh, fuck. Sorry about that, guys. It just popped up and it annoyed me very much. And the next thing, if you want to bring in pictures, which are gonna, which are gonna go over here, by the way, in the pane, it's the same idea. Import pictures. You find your pictures. It's the same idea for your audio or your music. And likewise. Now, I noticed some of you have been uh, mentioning that you've been importing videos and you don't see it in your music folder. The reason is, it doesn't go into your music folder until after you're done editing or until you close down this program, which because the program sees it as edited at that point. Now, as far as effects, slowing things down, picking things up, turning everything upside down, you know, the, the, the transitions and the effects, you either can go view video effects, and they're in here, brightness increase, fade in from black, so on and so forth, and then I'm going to show the other way. So I'm going to put this on pause for a minute here. And the best way to do that is to come down here into the timeline. You're going to right click, go to video effects, and I'm going to give you a sample of what's in here. You can blur it, brightness, ease in or out. You can fade it in. All those things you've seen in the area up here before. Virus database has been updated. Sorry about that, guys. You can rotate it 180, 170, 90 degrees. You can set the tones. And here you go. Slow it down 50%, half times three times four times six by the way this is not normally available I'm gonna put a link at the end of the, of the video here it's gonna be on uh, win 76 and has an additional things you can add to Windows Media Player and water caller and threshold so on and forth so forth excuse me and also if you want to split the video you right click and you select oh, I'm sorry yeah well anyways yeah <laughs> sorry guys Yes, you right click and you select, no you don't right click, you move the bar up because I'm thinking of another program and control L, there you go, split. That's your split and then you can throw in your picture, you can throw in another movie in here if you wanted or anything. Now <clears throat> another thing, let's say you, you don't want this whole clip here to be as long as it is and you want to change it, the length of it and this is all you do, make sure it's selected on this side, see how the red arrows are in between you're going to bring it down, understand? And that's going to shrink in the, the length of this video up here. Same thing works on the other side. you got to make sure that this dotted area is around it. Otherwise, you're going to be messing with the side on the right-hand side. And this is how you shorten it. Now, the same thing actually applies to lengthening the other side, even though it's beyond the scope. Look, we could bring this pretty far. Okay, it only works with pictures, so um, I didn't say that. Now next, I think I gave you guys pretty much everything you need to know as far as going through and editing. I just want to make sure I have not Okay, yes. Now, when you take a sound, for instance, and you throw it in here, and you want to... Uh, let's see, I should have it under here, though, under the trespassers here. There should be sounds. And you want to select where it goes in the video. You can either leave the bar where it is and say add the timeline with a right click. Clip, click. That, that. It goes to the beginning, or you can drag it right along. Hold on, because I'm confused. This is normally not. Yeah, okay, it did happen. It just I just dragged it along. Okay. Yeah, let's see here. I'm just gonna play it for real quick. America was found in immigration. Yeah, it's all okay. It's on gunshots. Also, sometimes you want to make the sound louder, or you want to make it softer. So what you do is you're gonna right click, select volume, and here you go. You can adjust it very low all the way up. This is how they add music in the background. 
or you can mute the clip in the area here. So that's how you adjust your sound and that's how you move it up. And obviously you play it along and you move it to where you want. Okay, now the next what we're going to do is the same rules that apply to videos also apply to sounds. You, you can lengthen it only within itself. I'm trying to do that here. Okay, that's as long as it was. But just like the, up in here in the timeline, you can also bring down the time. You can shrink it down next to nothing, half a second you want. And you heard like four, four or five shots, and this is what you're going to hear now from the gunshots. Level, give you an idea. Uh, Now it doesn't squeeze it, if you will. It doesn't make it real slow, real fast. Those are just other effects, and it's not related to shrinking it. But shrinking, you know, just takes the time frame, and brings it to where you want in the movie. Now another thing, if you want to ease in two different parts of the movie, what you're going to do is you're going to move over here to the timeline, and you're going to see a hand. Okay, you don't want to you don't want to click it and have any other icon, and you're going to take you can take it and grab it once with a click. And you're going to drag it over and see how it drags in on the left hand side. And this is the effect you're going to get. Here we go. So, do I take back anything I just said? That's not what we were seeing in the other See how they mix together? That's how you, you uh, blend them together. And mix them together. And if you're wondering where you can view the other effects and transitions, you go up here, you select video effects, and here you can view them. Just like you do music or anything else, you simply take it and drag it down and change the effects of the movie, which it should do right here. So, do I take back anything I just said? That's not what you were seeing in the, in the There we go. Came up pixelated. So this, this movie maker is very, very easy to use and very reasonable, too, considering it's free. Same idea with the transitions, but because I blended it in, I can't guarantee it's going to work the way we want it. But there is quite a few here. I think I pretty much covered the basics of Windows Media Maker. If I think of anything, I will come back from the edit. Okay, I think I pretty much concluded with this video here, but there's one little problem here. I have probably four or five hundred, I'm just roughly guessing, transitions and effects I can give you guys. But as I understand, you can only hold maybe 40 of them at the time. And what's ironic about it is, when you put them all into one place like you're supposed to, you can't use all of them. You have to change the name of each folder separately. It's getting too complicated even for me, so I'm not going to get into it. But I'm going to have to learn of a way, and I'll, I will make an installer for you guys to make it easier. So you can just select and keep changing over instead of manually doing everything. So that concludes the, the reminder video for Windows Mini Maker. I think I've covered pretty much what everybody has been asking about. Yeah, so... Just double looking, but this is done. So, all right, guys, just leave your comments and definitely add me and rate me, please. All right, take care. Bye.